लेस्ट लेट स्टार्ट पास टेंस टूडे पास टेंस पास्ट इनडेफिनाइट इंडिकेट डैट द एक्शन डिस्क्राइब्ड इन अ सेंटेंस हैज हैपन बिफोर एंड इज नॉट अ करेंट हैपनिंग न पास्ट इनडेफिनाइट इंडिकेट्स डैट द एक्शन विच इज डिस्क्राइब्ड इन अ सेंटेंस has happened before and is a current happening okay to indicate an action now this tense is used in the following ways first is to indicate an action that happened in the past and to report completed actions it is used often in recounts and narrative first we closed the shop at 8 pm she met me last year now to indicate an action that happened in the past that is happen in the past and report completed actions it is used often in recounts and narratives and then also it is used often that she met me last year it's an action that happened in the past we close the shop at 8 pm this is often in recounts next is to indicate past habits or repeated events that are now over past habits or we say repeated events that are now over for example i always rode a bike to school when i was young it happened in past and it's a past habit i always rode a bike to school when i was young second is in those days my mother gave me pocket money every day in those days my mother used to give me pocket money in those days these are the past habits now let us see the structure simple past tense structure in affirmative sentences subject plus v2 plus remaining sentence or say object i played we played you played he she it played now in negative subject plus did not plus verb 1 plus remaining sentence or say object remember here verb one i did not play we did not play you did not play he she it did not play now interrogative did plus subject plus verb one plus question mark did i play did we play did you play did he she it play question mark again remember in affirmative we have to use verb second form of verb that is v2 but in negative and interrogative we will use v1 we are going to use v1 next is past continuous tense the past continuous tense also called past progressive is a tense which is used to show that an ongoing past action was happening at a specific moment of interruption or that two ongoing actions are happening at the same time now past continuous past action was that is a progressive going on happening at a specific moment it was happening at a specific moment that two ongoing actions were happening at the same time two ongoing actions were going on at the same time let us see with the example you will understand easily to indicate an action that was happening at some time in the past the time of action may or may not be indicated for example we were watching tv the whole evening now what is this happening at some time in the past we were watching tv the whole evening it is over now 
it was continuous for some time happening at some time in the past second used with always continually etc for persistent habits in the past for example he was always sulking this is also always continually such type of words we you we use in habits in the past let us see the structure affirmative subject plus was plus v1 plus ing plus remaining sentence i was playing we were playing he she it was playing now negative subject plus was plus not plus v1 plus ing plus the remaining sentence i was not playing we were not playing he she it was not playing now interrogative was were plus subject plus v1 plus ing plus remaining sentence plus question mark was i playing were you playing was he she it playing this is past continuous tense let's move on to past perfect tense the past perfect is a verb tense which is used to show that an action took place once or many times before another point in the past now this past perfect tense is what used to show that an action took place once or many times before another point in the past okay let's see some example this tense is used in the following ways first first is to indicate an action that was completed before a definite time now it is an action that was completed before a definite time or before another action that took place in the past and it took place in the past for example manish reached here after you had gone an action that was completed before a definite time before another action that took place in the past manish reached here after you had gone second the patient had died before the doctor reached the hospital the patient had died before the doctor reached the hospital and here one action that was completed before a definite time before another action took place you are able to understand manish reached here after you had gone so one action is over and the another is going the patient had died before the doctor reached the hospital now the second is it indicates desire in the past that have not been fulfilled for example i wish i had not wasted my time now this is a desire that in the past that have not been fulfilled i wish i had not wasted my time third it expresses those condition of the past that were impossible to fulfill for example if you had a, if you had question him earlier things would have improved this is a condition of the past and that were impossible to fulfill it was not possible to fulfill so for example if you had questioned him earlier things would have improved let's see the structure affirmative sentence subject plus had plus verb plus verb 3 plus remaining sentence i had played we had played you had played he she had he she it had played now negative subject plus had plus not plus v3 plus remaining sentence i had not played we had not played you had not played he she it had not played now interrogative sentence had plus subject plus v3 plus remaining sentence had i played had we played had you played had he she it played okay 
so this is the structures now let us move on to past perfect continuous tense the past perfect continuous tense also known as the past perfect progressive tense continuous another word is progressive tense progressive shows that an action that started in the past the action that started in the past continue up until another time in the past okay let us move on first is this sentence this tense is used in the following ways it indicates an action which began in the past and continued up to a certain point of time in the past for example when we met in lucknow she had been studying in city college for 3 years so what it indicates an action which began in the past and continue up to a certain point of time it began in the past then continue up to a certain point of time in the past itself for example when we met in lucknow she had been studying in the city college for 3 years next example at a time he had been working in the company for 2 months let us see the structure affirmative sentence subject plus had plus been plus v1 plus ing plus the remaining sentence plus since for plus the remaining sentence i had been playing we had been playing you had been playing negative sub subject plus had plus not plus been plus v1 plus ing plus since for it is optional in some sentences you will get the since for okay i had not been playing we had not been playing you had not been playing interrogative sentences had plus subject plus been plus v1 plus ing plus since for plus remaining sentence had i been playing had we be, been playing had you been playing so this is past perfect continuous tense now let us move on to another tense that is future tense a verb is said to be in future tense when the action is describing has to take place at some point in the future action will be take place in future let us move on to first that is future indefinite tense this tense is used in the following ways first to say what we believe or think will happen in future for example i believe she will join the office tomorrow second they will go in the college sorry they will go to the college we shall win the match second things which we cannot control and are factual for example the sun will rise at 6 am third to indicate an instant decision it is our first marriage anniversary i shall give you a precious gift this is only a one sentence i shall give you a previous Uh, i shall give you a precious gift Ma, let us see what in the first it uh, happen in future that is going to be happen in future that is i believe she will join the office tomorrow so it will be in future it will be done okay future it is expectation of future next is they will go to the college this is also future planning that future it will happen in future second things which we cannot control and are factual we are not going to control for example the sun will rise at 6 am so this is a fact third to indicate an instant decision somebody has taken instant decision for example it is a first marriage anniversary i shall give you a precious gift this is an instant decision now let's see the structure first affirmative sentence you he she it 
दे सेकेंड एंड थर्ड पर्सन प्रोनाउन प्लस विल प्लस वी वन प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट आई विल सेल दिस हाउस यू विल सेल दिस हाउस ही शी इट विल सेल दिस हाउस नेगेटिव यू ही शी इट दे सेकेंड एंड थर्ड पर्सन प्रोनाउन प्लस विल प्लस नॉट प्लस वी वन प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट आई विल नॉट सेल दिस हाउस यू विल नॉट सेल द हाउस ही शी इट विल नॉट सेल द हाउस इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेंस विल शेल प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस वर्ब प्लस वर्ब वन प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट विल आई सेल द हाउस विल यू नॉट सेल द हाउस विल ही शी इट नॉट सेल द हाउस क्वेश्चन मार्क ओके नाउ लेट एस मूव ऑन टू द सेकेंड वन डैट इज फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस टेंस द फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस टेंस समटाइम्स ऑल्सो रेफर टू एज द फ्यूचर प्रोग्रेसिव टेंस एज अ वर्ब टेंस दैट इंडिकेट्स दैट समथिंग विल अकर इन द फ्यूचर एंड कंटिन्यू टू एन एक्सपेक्टेड लेंथ ऑफ टाइम again progressive and continuous means same it is a verb tense that indicates that something will occur in the future something is going to be occur in the future and continue for an expected length of time and it will continue for a for an expected length of time let's see future continuous tense this tense is used in the following ways to indicate an action that will occur in the normal course now action which will occur in the normal course for example she will be cooking the food tomorrow it is normal i will be meeting him tomorrow this is normal in normal case we are saying that it will occur now the second one is to indicate an action that will be in progress at a given point of time in future first at this time tomorrow we shall be attending the party we shall be visiting the zoo at this time tomorrow now what is this this is an action that will be in progress okay and at a given point of time in future at this time tomorrow we shall be attending the party means at this time we are going to attend the party tomorrow and we shall be visiting the zoo at this time tomorrow okay uh, student uh, this first sentence a and second sentence w will be capital okay do it now future continuous tense affirmative negative and interrogative first let us see affirmative you he she it they second and third person pronouns will plus b plus v1 plus ing okay it is future continuous so v1 plus ing plus the remaining sentence i shall be teaching my students you shall be teaching my students we shall be teaching my students he she it shall be teaching my students negative you he she it they second and third person pronouns plus will plus not plus b plus v1 plus ing i shall not be teaching my students you shall not be teaching my students we shall not be teaching my student he she it shall not be teaching my students next is interrogative sentence will shall plus subject plus b plus v1 plus ing plus remaining sentence and question mark for example shall i not be teaching my student shall you not be teaching my student shall we not be teaching my student shall he she it not be teaching my students question mark let us move on to next that is future perfect tense okay the future perfect tense express action in the future 
before another action in the future this is the past in the future okay future perfect tense first this tense is used to describe an action which will be completed at some point of time in the future example i shall have finished this work by tomorrow they will have reached home by now now describe an action which will be completed at some point of time in the future i shall have finished this work by tomorrow we are talking about future that this work is going to be complete tomorrow in that time particularly now the second is they will have reached home na by now i shall have reached the school before the rings next is to express the speaker's belief that something has taken taken place for example you will have heard about this news okay now let us see the structures so first is affirmative sentence you he she it they second and third person pronouns plus will plus have plus v3 plus object for example i shall have finished this work by tomorrow the passengers will have reached the station before the train starts next negative sentence you he she it they second and third person will pronounce plus will not plus have plus v3 plus object i shall have not i shall not have finished this work by tomorrow the passengers will not have will not have reached the station before the train start next is interrogative sentences will shall plus subject plus have plus v3 plus object plus question mark don't forget shall i have finished this work by tomorrow will the passengers have reached the station before the train start question mark next is the last one that is future perfect continuous tense the future perfect continuous tense describes an action that will be in the progress over a period of time that will end in the future it is progress but that will end in the future let's see i shall have been working round the clock for 22 years next april once again i am repeating i shall have been working round the clock to 22 years next april next is at noon anuradha will have been singing songs for an hour again i am repeating at noon anuradha will have been ringing uh, sorry singing songs for an hour okay so let's see the structure future perfect continuous tense first affirmative sentence i you he she it they plus will shall plus have plus been plus v1 plus ing plus since for plus remaining sentence by next april we shall have been leaving for the usa second negative sentence i you he she it they plus will plus not plus have plus been plus verb 1 plus ing plus since for plus object by next april we shall not have been leaving for the usa next is interrogative sentence 
will shell plus subject plus have plus been plus v1 plus ing plus since for plus remaining sentence plus question mark will we have been leaving for the USA question mark thank you student hope you understood this